All right. Well, let's check in on Flippy. Flippy update. Do you want fries with that? That's right. Flippy is our colloquial name for the disembodied robot arms that are taking our jobs, enslaving our children, and flirting with our spouses. We use talking about Flippy as a way to explore all the new, fun, and exciting ways that robots are taking over the world. Now there's nothing we can do about it. Just a quick Flippy update today on actual Flippy. Uh, If you are a regular participant in this show and listen to it and, you know, interact with us on social media and stuff, you certainly have gotten the Miso Robotics two weeks left to invest uh, ads. But people, hundreds of people have sent us screenshots of the fact that they're getting advertised by Miso Robotics to uh, invest and bring Flippy 2 into the future. Um, that's up to you. I have no idea what to do about that. But this is a story coming from the National, mirrored by MSN here. It says, restaurants in the UAE will soon have robot chefs preparing meals for customers. Is that the, the United you have? Arab Emirates. What? Is that the headline that you have? Dubai's first robot chef Flippy is coming to a mall near you. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, sorry. That's the headline. Dubai's first robot (laughs) chef Flippy is coming to a mall near you. I love it because it's coming to a mall in Dubai, and that's not very near me, and I don't know why they want to rub that in my face. Jelly America is what they're saying if you don't have the Flippy (laughs) arm. Listen to this. Mm. Americana restaurants. Not just American. Americana. Oh, look at that. Which operates uh, Pizza Hut, KFC, and Hardee's in the Middle East and North Africa (laughs) has partnered with Miso Robotics to bring machine employees into the workforce. The robotics company will test its Flippy 2. That's the Newer, shinier, yeah, <laughs> sexier Better. version of Flippy Two, yeah, a robotic arm that uses machine learning and artificial intelligence at the Wimpy Restaurant in Dubai Mall. It doesn't get tired, take breaks, or sweat into the dishes it prepares, <laughs> nor can it suffer an injury. That's what gives it that extra local flavor. Is that, yeah. that that sweat <laughs> from the the chefs? You know, You're taking that away. We, we, love to, left. we love to explore the, the social engineering aspect of bringing robots into the advent of robots into mainstream culture and into your home. And it's been a slow boil mm-hmm. of going from, oh, these robots are here to help. They're not going to replace humans. They're not going to, you know, they're just going to make humans' lives easier so we can just enjoy our work and not do the hard stuff. To straight up, like, not only are humans useless, but they are going to <laughs> <They're gross>. sweat <laughs> They're into your dishes. They're dirty. <laughs> They're nasty. Why would you want a human cooking for you? I mean, yeah. we, uh, it, it's not very far into the future where the very idea of a human cooking your food will be so repellent yeah, you know, and nasty, which oh, is, you know, yeah. cooking being such a... I mean, that's a human-to-human thing, man. There's love in those dishes uh, that's, when Grandma you know, cooks uh, you something. I was really thinking about this as I saw the story, you know, setting it up for, for you t- today. You know, just, just thinking about a world 20 to 30 years into, you know, a good portion of people uh, eating food made by robots, what does that do to the economy of, like, actual chefs and actual human-cooked food? Oh, I mean, it you know, I mean, luxury, the, the, right? the ec- economic part of it, we've, we've, yeah, that's, 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 we've been talking about that for years. But I think that the, the message being sent here is, like, you don't want grandma cooking you food. You don't want an expert who went to school and, you know, whatever. Now, look. KFC, Pizza Hut, Hardee's. <laughs> I'm, you know, I mean, it's almost like you know what you're eating, and so the, 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 the <laughs> food, yeah, the food itself is pretty much robots at that point. Yeah, um, but I mean, but again, remember, it's the it's the social engineering, it's the slow boil uh, of no, 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 we're not going to replace humans. To yeah, we're going to replace humans. It's because it's cheaper. To straight up. 
if a human cooks your food, you nasty. <laughs> Don't even think about it. You think that's love in grandma's recipe? No, that's sweat. She's Do you remember? Wow. Only on this show can we recall things from the very beginning the very beginning of flippy when mm -hmm. they had him in dodger stadium i remember they had a whole thing where they did you know press with him flipping burgers in, in dodger stadium and the whole narrative was there was like a person helping with the buns yeah and they're like look you know you still need human help like you still gotta have a human, a human put the bun down which is like the most Right. ridiculous thing and at the time we were like yeah that's not gonna last and here we are now it's oh the disgusting sweat of a human mm -hmm. so, yeah no uh, i mm. think very much it's not very long i think by 2030 the idea of a human cooking your food it will have two elements the idea of co a human cooking your food will be disgusting to most people but on the other hand I think it will become a luxury. Like right. you can only get your food cooked by a human if you're at a like a four star Michelin restaurant type of thing. Right. Because you know that's what the luck. That's what the elites love. You know, we're we're trying to just have a hamburger. They're like, I want to eat the the liver of a goose <laughs> smothered in the eggs of a fish and you know boiled in the whatever the the milk of a cockroach and that's like wow yeah okay that's luxury uh, you know that's that's sure. what you spend your money on so i think this idea uh in the near future like hey we go to this restaurant wow how do you even get a table that's crazy yeah they have human cooks it's wild yeah um it'll be a status symbol well that's a what symbol. i'm saying it, it yeah. it's gonna the, the sociology surrounding how it's gonna affect the perception of food in general yeah and this is all conditioning for all the the products lined up for you know fake meat and all that that's mm -hmm. that's all in line too so it's all part of it it's just they got to yep. get the the proper infrastructure to roll all that stuff out so and not mm -hmm. only is, your, is it, you know, clean or, you know, not me, you're not killing cows, but also you don't have human sweat in your food. Yeah, no so fingerprints, no sweat. The no purest nothing. of food. Fast food becomes the purest of foods. At least so that's what say it all us. together now. Thanks, Flippy. <laughs>